Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we will be mounting the ESCs and motors on the frame and uh, this, there's quite a lot of things to do in this video so this will just be very quickly. Um, so first, first off we're gonna unsolder the uh, wires in the ESC here. We're gonna unsolder these three and put on some connectors. You might have seen the DJI uh, ESCs used for the uh, flame wheel where they just soldered the connectors right on the board and we're gonna do the same thing. So let's get started. Um, first off we're gonna fill the three connectors here with some soldering tin. I'm gonna use a helping hand for this and a very hot soldering iron. So uh, just fill it with soldering tin like that. Do that to all three. Once you've got the free, take your ESC and unsolder the free wires here. And I solder on the 3.5mm gold connectors here. So once you've done that, put on some put on some heat shrink on these connectors and we're gonna unsolder these two wires here. Now you've done that, unsoldered these two wires, um, just get rid of, of everything on the table because you're going to bring up um, your turret Iron Man 650. And as you can see, I've already, I've already mounted it on some of the arms, uh, or the three other arms, just to make sure that I got the routine. Now, once you've unsoldered these, Go ahead and get your Tarot Iron Man 650 quadcopter because now we're gonna um, get the wires in through the arms. So just start with the black one and lead it in. So when you've lit the uh, black wire through the arm and made it come out through the bottom there, I can just show you here. It's very simple, just um, grab your Allen key and when it comes, you should just, when it comes out the arm, you should just get this up here and just pull it down till you get the wire out through the bottom um, right there, okay? So just pull it out from the bottom here and until you have a reasonable length, push it back up the hole it came from and you should just get it out um, where the two these two wires are you should get it out through that port and um, so just like that and pull it out here make it go out out of the bottom here so you have it alongside these two wires now you're just gonna so it comes out like that shove off some heat sink in a reasonable length move it up the wire you could solder a 3.5 millimeter bullet connector on here but as I'm looking for a more permanent solution I'm just going to chop this off right there take off the heat sink remove the isolation the rubber isolation lead these two into each other so they have a big um, area they reach each other in a big area and I just go ahead and solder these two together Lead the heat sink over the solder. Go ahead and pull the wire out in the arm, out from the arm, so you get the soldering joint to be inside the arm. Do the same thing with the red wire. Chop off the isolation after you've let the wire through the arm and came out the side. Chop off the connector here. That, remove that. Chop off the isolation here as well. So heat sink on here. Solder. Put on the heat shrink. Pull the wire back into the arm. Great. Now go ahead and grab a motor mount, oh sorry, a motor and just cut some of these, the, the heat shrink here um, off. It will improve the agility of the wires 
which is much needed. Just a small bit, not nothing too much. That I grab a motor mount, grab the two mounts here, and four um, washers, the plastic washers. Mount a washer on each bolt, push it down from the side. This is the most extreme holes, and these two and these two down here. Go ahead and mount that back up. Take the other mount a washer on that as well. I'll do that same thing down here. Don't, don't screw these completely in. Now go ahead and mount the motor um, opposite as what you might think. So the wires are going to stay out the back and there's a reasonable explanation for that later. Get your bag of goodies with this mount in it because there's a lot of screws that we can just screw up from the bottom of this motor mount. So grab a bigger Allen key, put on this bolt here, take some Loctite, apply a small bit to the bolt, screw it on, do that for the four of the bolts as well. So once that mounted, bring up the quadcopter to the table again. Okay, now just slide the motor mount um, in to the carbon tube on your turret um, frame and uh, you could just use your iPhone if you've got one of those to uh, to measure if it's perfectly level um, or you could just choose any other um, water level indicator um, just to make it perfectly horizontal uh, like I did in the, the video and just tighten those um, the brackets up um, that locks um, onto the carbon tube just like that and when you've done that it's time to move on with the mounting of the ESC okay now we're gonna measure up where the ESC should be and how long the wires should be so just go ahead and mount the motor wires that's gonna, how it's gonna be mounted just like that with the motor wires coming out the back which makes it a perfect length we're gonna measure a proper length for this which is here just cut that off and I'll cut the black one off in the equal length so now these two are equally long. So go ahead and remove the isolation of the red wire. So uh, go ahead and pre-tin the wire. Solder on the wire to the uh, plus side. And I do the same thing with the black wire as well. So when you solder it on the uh, minus wire or the black wire, just go ahead and mount some black non-conductive tape around the uh, ESC covering um, the soldering points at both ends like that okay now that you su successfully mounted both the motor and the ESC just go ahead and zip tie the ESC and the wires on the side down a lead to connect to the Pixhawk, we're gonna do that in a later video this was just how to mount that so uh, thank you for watching and uh, Please subscribe for further videos and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.